Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be bringing you a review that was highly requested and highly sought after. So here it is. It is my review of the brand new version of the Avocado Co-Wash from Lush Cosmetics. So let's just, just get straight into it. I'm going to list some ingredients and I'm going to talk about the old Avocado Co-Wash with the red wax on it, compare it to this one give you all the information you need to know and yeah you can decide if it's for you or if it's not for you so the ingredients of this new version of the avocado co-wash have sodium cocal isothinoate I think I did okay on that pronunciation not perfect but well that'll do <laughs> steric acid rosemary lavender flower and nettle infusion we have some fresh avocado we have some glycerine, we have some water, ethyl macadamiate, we have bergamot oil, let's say cubeba oil, olibanum oil, organic avocado, uh, kuaku butter, fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin olive oil, citric acid, gardenia extract, and some other bits and pieces, a few little alcohols and things like that that help preserve the product. So the difference, or the main difference, should I say, between the new avocado co-wash and the old one is the absence of SLS, or sodium lauryl sulfate. Now, sulfates, I have sort of touched on this before, and it is a bit of a controversial topic for some people, but... I feel sulfates generally get a bad rap in the beauty community. They are very, very excellent detergents. And I mean detergents in a very, very clinical sense. I don't mean it as washing your clothes detergents, but a detergent in, in chemistry and things like that is something that sort of helps bubble up basically and foam up and has that sort of action and helps remove dirt, oil, impurities, that sort of thing. I think that a lot of people use way, way, way too much product with sulfate in it and then they get upset that their hair is dry or their skin is dry. Most people, including myself, I'm guilty of this too, use too much shampoo, too much shower gel, too much soap and it's destroying their skin and it's destroying their hair. The beauty of something like this and a product like this is you don't have that problem you've cancelled that problem out pretty much. Once you get rid of sulfates in any form, not just SLS, you know, sulfates, because there's other sulfates that aren't SLS. Um, if you remove that from the product, you have less chance of making your skin dry or your hair dry. It's just science, you know. This does have not a sulfate, but it has a version of a detergent but it is a less harsh detergent okay in the sodium cockle itho ithonacetate <laughs> oh my god don't ask me to pronounce these fancy science words i know i you know i try and sound you know intelligent here but sometimes i'm really not but long story short there is a difference 100 percent between this and the old co-wash one thing you'll notice with the old co-wash, if you have tried that yourself, is A, the wax on it, which is just a pain in the ass. I hate the red wax on it. I understand that, you know, it was sold in a wheel, you cut it up, yada, yada, yada. I understand that. It helps preserve the product before it's sold. Cool. But I think you need to remove that wax as soon as you get home and before you put it in a jar or before you take it into your shower. Because the wax is a pain in the butt and it's a pain in the butt to try and get those wax pieces out of your co-wash if they happen to get in your co-wash. So that's one thing that's also changed that I do like. I like that it's in a slab format, which is very, very similar to what Lush is doing with their soaps now. Love it. I think it's a fantastic idea and it gives you much more surface area to use it, which I like as well and makes it easy for you to get that product off the co-wash bar really like that as well another thing that i noticed is the old co-wash has a softer texture to it now that may seem like a good thing but to me and when i did my review back way back when you know a year and a half ago a long time ago right 
I found it harder to use because what happens is when it is under the water of the shower or in the steam of the bathroom, it had a tendency to come off in clumps. And because it's just an oil based clump, it was very, very hard to work in my hair. It was, it took a long time to break it down my hands. If I wanted to put it in my hands and then my hair, it was a whole thing. It was just a lot of effort just to wash my hair. I would just prefer to use a sulfate shampoo. I would just prefer to use a little dollop, you know, go nuts on it, rinse it out, done. Okay. This bar is a lot firmer in texture. So when I'm pressing it, you could probably see a few indents of my fingers. Like that part right there is soft. Like that's just, I think that's a part that probably wasn't as blended as the rest. But if I feel down here, right, it's a very, very tough bar. And it's sort of melted a little bit in my fingers as well, which is quite nice. Now I've got moisturized fingers, great. Um, now in terms of the use of the product, okay? Like I said, I find it far more easier to use and the toughness of this bar made it far easier to use. Now I did a test on my hair when it was not so greasy and when it was quite greasy. I found this does a better wash when your hair is less greasy and sort of like an in-between wash for me rather than more greasy. So I let my hair sit for about five days before I washed it, okay? <laughs> Which, look, not proud of it, but for review purposes, I will do it. But by five days, I was like, hmm, my hair is far too greasy now. I've got to wash it. I usually wash my hair every two to three days, depending. Um, and, yeah, I... Look, it still washed my hair, but I'm a little bit of a clean freak. I do like that sort of sudsy sort of feeling in my hair. I'm just one of those people. I really do like that sort of foaming up feeling of a shampoo. I feel like my hair is a lot cleaner that way. I know I, I just, it's just something that is very mental with me in my brain. Um, so it was very, very weird for me to have this and then not have the urge to add something else to it. It was very, very weird. Now, I will say that when it was really greasy, it did the top of my hair really, really well. But the back of my hair, I really had to work it because my hair is very long. Okay. There's more hair behind the back of it as well. So I've got quite thick, long hair, right? So when I'm trying to do underneath it and the weight of my hair from being quite heavy from all the water and everything that's pouring down. It's quite hard to actually deposit the product whilst you're in the shower, trying not to rinse it off your hands and everything. I just didn't like that sort of mental gymnastics that I was doing to try and reach the back of my hair, personal opinion. Um, so I felt like I didn't get as good of a clean under my um, neck and near my neck sort of thing that I did in the front. Once again, just how I felt using it. Um, and I felt like the back of my scalp and everything wasn't as clean as I would have liked it to be. Now, I did use this also as a sort of in-between wash and I sort of left it for one day this time. I left it for one day and I was like, okay, I'm going to try this again with very clean hair. So I actually did follow up the next day with a very, very clean um, shampoo just to make sure that I had a clean slate. And then the day after I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this with somewhat clean hair, a little bit greasy from exercising and sweaty and all that sort of thing, right? I got a far better result from it. I really did. I felt that my scalp was very, very clean from it, but not stripped of moisture or anything like that. So, my recommendation for using this product is don't let it get too far. Don't let your hair get too greasy because I don't feel like it helped me a lot in that situation. I know some people do disagree with that. I know a lot of people swear by co-washing and they only do it every now and again and um, they only wash their hair maybe once a week and in a co-wash sort of system. But I just can't do that. I'm sorry. I mean, my hair is just so thick. My scalp produces a lot of oil very, very quickly. And, you know, I, I like I said, I can go five days a week without washing my hair and 
it just feels really, really disgusting to me. And I've tried doing that whole lengthening out, you know, your washes and all that sort of thing. And I just never, never see a change. Even when I do lengthen it out, my scalp just produces the same amount of oil, no matter what. It, it just does the same thing, no matter what. And lastly, the scent. Almost forgot. We better talk about the scent, right? The scent is exactly the same as the old avocado co-wash. If you haven't tried the old avocado co-wash or you don't know what that scent family is all about, it's basically a very nice lemon lime citrusy kind of smell. It's got this sort of smoothness to it as well and a sweetness. So it's not like full on like zingy citrusy lemon lime. There's definitely a little bit of something else there as well um, that sort of just makes it very sweet and beautiful. Almost like, um, almost reminds me of green Skittles a little bit in terms of smell, but it's a little bit more complex than that. But just to give you a basic idea. So with all that in mind, I think, I don't remember what I give, gave my other review. I think I was way, way, way too generous when I did that initial review. Like a lot of my early reviews were very, very generous and just, um, you know, very complimentary. But I think this product, I think I'm going to give it, okay, I think I'm going to give it a three out of five. And that probably seems a little bit harsh and I probably am being a bit harsh. But for me, for my hair, and how I want to treat it <laughs> and how I want to wash it, it, it's just not for me. You know, it's okay. It's above okay in terms of product. Okay, it washes my hair. It does the job. But it's not the sort of product that is for me and my target market, if that makes sense. I know it just sounds weird to say that. But I do recommend it in a very weird way. I do recommend this product. And I think it's a great product for people who are looking for that co-wash alternative and are looking for something that is less harsh on the hair. I think if you're someone who really, really struggles with that or you have colored treated hair um, because sulfates can also dry out the color treated hair as well. You know, once again, if you use too much, it will definitely make your color look even worse. I think this could be a good option for you. I would like to hear from anybody who has thinner hair, like sort of very thin hair, or if you have Afro hair, because this is technically targeted at Afro hair. Um, I did have a commenter who is a subscriber as well, uh, recently say to me that they were quite disappointed that this was released under the guise of Afro hair care because she has locks and she ha thinks it will get caught in them and sort of stay in there or she used it and that's what happened I can't quite remember exactly what she said in her comment so please please inform me and put your experience down below because this will help a lot of people because I can only review a product for my hair type it's not like other products in Lush's range where I can sort of review based on scent as well you know what I mean this is hair care and everyone's hair is so different and like I said I've got wavy, long, thick hair. So I am definitely not, you know, everyone out there who is looking to try this, if that makes sense. So please, please share your knowledge in the comment section, share your experiences in the comment section. I really, really want to know what your thoughts are as well. All right, there we go. That was quite a long review. So if you have stuck around, thank you so, so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate the support. We are getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so if you like Lush content, if you like um, these sorts of videos, I highly, highly recommend sticking around and please consider subscribing because that's basically what I do here. That's my bread and butter. So if, if that interests you, you'll have a lot of fun here, I guarantee it. So thank you again for watching and until next time, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.